people agree and some people say you're crazy. In like 20 to 30 years, maybe 50, we're going to look back and say, how could we have ever thought that this was safe? What did we do? Just like in the 40s and 50s where they had like radiation rings and stuff like, oh, get your radiation ring. It's really good for you. It enhances your health and it cures cancer and stuff, obviously giving you cancer. That's what it's going to be like. It's going to say it's we're going to say things like the FDA said that was heart healthy. The FDA said that was good for you. The FDA said the RDA of vitamin C was what? We're going to be taking hundreds of thousands of the RDA of these vitamins and nutraceuticals. And it's going to be like no big deal. No one's even going to ask questions. Nobody, at that point, we're going to understand. It's going to be like knowing that drinking water is good. We're going to be like, we drank water with what in it? And you, would you, right, right. Granddad, you'd really turn on a tap and pharmaceuticals would be in your water? What the heck? You know, I think and arsenic, the number yeah. one cancer causing and the most right. toxic chemical, fluoride, number two toxic chemical known to man was in your water supply. It's like Rome. What was going on? Pipes. They had no idea. Mm -hmm. And some people would say, hey, maybe we shouldn't use these lead. Uh, lead constructs to, to funnel all the water through it. Maybe that's why we're going insane. Not to mention we drink two two bottles of wine every night. <laughs> and we're like, oh, shut up. You're insane. You don't know what you're talking about. That's how that's how I feel right now. I feel like it's at a certain point, we're just going to realize what's going on. Do you want to uh, hit some calls? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go, let's to, go to uh, another call. Let's talk to Ad in Delaware since he's been waiting so long. He wants to talk about Fukushima, which is something I'm passionate about too. Ad in Delaware, what's going on? Hey guys, uh, I go by AD. AD. Uh, OD. Right. <laughs> not, not, you're not advertising. Your 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 uh, mother's given name was not advertisement. That's very good. <laughs> uh, AD, what's going on? I thought you might think that. Although I do, uh, I definitely pass the word on on air over here. But listen, what do you know about these chemtrails and Bill Gates' 2007 patent, where he's putting sulfurous acid? In these uh, chemtrails, along with the aluminum and everything else, I mean, this has got to be a serious, serious problem. The soils over here are showing super high amounts of uh, barium, the whole nine yards. I mean, but sulfuric acid, of all things. And in the bay over here, we got seafood now that is showing the 137 isotopes from Fukushima. This is a nightmare. And for you, Dr. Group, I got a question. I'm trying to do some liver cleanses uh, that I can afford right now. Do you recommend baking soda? And can I use Epsom salt safely to clean my liver? You know, AD, I like your energy. You're really firing me up. I, I feel like we needed you right now. You're, the, you're, the, uh, you're an energy drink to this program. Uh, Dr. Group, what do you think about all that? Well, for Fukushima and the geoengineering that's going on, it's it's much more than the Bill Gates. I mean, we're finding all different kinds of things in the geoengineering programs, especially with chemtrails. I personally think, and what I've been told by individuals, the reason why there's sulfuric acid and everything is to acidify the soil. Not only that, but when you mix a highly strong acid with aluminum nanoparticles and barium and strontium nanoparticles, and for that matter, what you're getting on top of the geoengineering is you're getting all the Fukushima fallout, which a lot of people don't even know that just recently Japan has gone through massive typhoons. As a matter of fact, there's been 18 typhoons that have recently hit Japan over the last six months. 300 tons of highly radioactive material has leaked from Fukushima just recently. All that stuff, some of that goes into the atmosphere, some of it goes into the water supply. I've talked to people all over the world that are losing their hair, and women especially because they're, so, they're a lot more sensitive to radiation than men are, and, uh, it, and it affects their thyroid and it affects their reproductive system. So you, if you couple that on top of all the other stuff that's in the air, it's a perfect solution to kill the soil. Okay, if you kill the soil, you can kill the food supply. If you kill the food, and guess what? As it rains, all that stuff goes into the water supply too. So you might as well say the air is going to be contaminated, the soil is going to be contaminated, and the water supply is going to be contaminated. How many percent of it went in the Pacific Ocean? Yeah. I had to do an hour speech on Fukushima, and I thought I knew a lot about it, but when I actually researched it, I learned even more disturbing stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it was 73% they found in an independent report went directly of the cesium directly into the Pacific Ocean. I mean, it wasn't even a question of what do we do to it. Oh, just dump it in the Pacific Ocean. Hey, guys, what do we do with uh, 
all this uh, cesium, this radioactive cesium. Oh, I know. Let's just dump in the Pacific. Let's let let California deal with it. You know, I yeah. mean, it's, it's totally insane. And then the independent report also found that the, even in the initial blast, which isn't as much as later on that was leaked out of the plant, it's now been like three times more. It was one and a half times the actual amount they, they claimed. And then after that, in 2013, they found that m more than the initial apparently had been leaking of the radioactive cesium than ever before. So it's just getting worse. That's why uh, Huffington Post called it the nuclear nightmare. You know, and I say, yeah. when are we going to wake up from it? When we're actually going to do something about it? Yeah, let me tell you a few things that I that I would do if, uh, and I have been doing to protect myself from radiation. Number one is iodine, and the Survival Shield X2 works really good for that. Uh, another thing that works really good is zeolites. You know, make sure you find a good organic source. Activated charcoal, melanin absorbs uh, radiation, and as well. Uh, Vitamin D works good to activate the immune system and keep your body strong. And a good fulvic humic acid blend actually is what I'm taking. And that kind of helps. That's kind of my radiation protection program. But I also add potassium orotate and magnesium orotate too, because both of those have been found to help absorb radiation. There's been, as far as why... Why is all that geoengineering happening? Why are they trying to kill the soil? Well, what grows out of the soil, right? If you can't grow plants and your trees are dying and you're, you're, you can't get medicinal herbs out of that, the, you, you know, the water becomes toxic, what do you end up having? You end up having a famine. You end up reduced uh, production of the foods that we eat, which you're seeing right now, and you end up with droughts. Look at all the stuff that's happened because of geoengineering. Okay, they just had, you know, all the typhoons in Japan. They had soccer ball size hail recently. They have sinkholes in that big, huge sinkhole in Siberia, sinkholes all over the place. You have massive amounts of wildfires right now going on out in California. You just had that massive flood in Spain. You know, all over the world, you're starting to see all these effects of the geoengineering. So... You know, what's the, that's another thing. I mean, what's the solution to that? The solution is just to keep your body and your family protected. Have air purification systems in your home. Have a good water purification system. Drink, drink clean water. Breathe clean air. Eat clean food as best as you can and try to keep your body as strong as you possibly can. Personal preparedness of the highest degree, right, really is what it comes down to. Let's take one more call for now. Let's go to Ryan in Arizona. He wants to talk about the mainstream media. Ryan, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, it's Brian with a B. Oh, sorry but, about that. Um, I actually had a quick question for the doc real quick. Um I want to know, is there a difference between the nascent iodine and I take one called Lugol's iodine, L-U-G-O-L-S? Yes. Well, there's a difference between a lot of different types of iodine. We're not, we're not going to get into the difference between brands and stuff like that, but I think you should break down but, the difference in like key iodine, like potassium iodine versus nascent iodine, perhaps. Yes. Well, potassium iodide is what the Lugol's, made out, Lugol's is made of, and it's not a bad product. I mean, the, the, the difference is absorbable iodine and how it breaks down in your body and how you detoxify it or at least take it to the nascent stage. I'm not sure, you know, I think Lugol's would, will start with a potassium iodide base, and it's also in an alcohol uh, base as well. What we, is, and that's not to say it won't work, but it's going to be extra uh, energy for your body to break it down. Whenever you look the at, you go the down, difference is the you process. You into the earth, eight to 12,000 feet. All the different brands are completely different in their different, you know, effectiveness and ways that they work. Um, you know, we've done the research and we think that, you know, we've chose ours for a reason. Survival right. Shield. It's the only one in the world that comes from 99.999% pure iodine crystals. Which are purple it's, crystals. It's, it's all about the purity in how the body breaks it down and utilizes it. And so that's the difference because we take those pure crystals and put them through a complete detoxification process that we had to actually develop. Took us months to develop and be able to stabilize that iodine. All those other companies, the reason why they put it in alcohol and they use potassium iodide is because the potassium stabilizes the iodine so it doesn't outgas and you don't lose it. It's extremely hard to break it down in a usable form and to stabilize it to where your body, as soon as you put it in your body, it's going to be utilized directly into the bloodstream. It doesn't have to go to the liver and get, in, get broken down 
first, it's immediately in your bloodstream. And that, that has a lot of different benefits from detoxification to utilization of the cells uh, by the cells in the body. And uh, that would be a whole nother conversation. But there, I do have a video that goes into detail online on YouTube about iodine. If you want to, it's about an hour long that go, that will explain to you the whole full process of why you need it, why everybody needs it and the processing and, and what the difference between the, the types of iodine out there. Personally, I don't like any type of herbal extract or anything in an alcohol base because we know now with recent studies that alcohol in itself is an endocrine disrupting chemical. That's right. Well, you know, overall, I, I can't actually believe I try to take these calls. Everyone wants to talk about the products. Well, thank you guys so much for wanting to talk about the products. They are amazing. I'm actually trying to talk about things like <laughs> mainstream media and everything like that. Everyone wants to talk about products. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your support at InfoWarsLife.com and support of the Money Bomb. Now, we're going to go to break here in a second. But overall, I wanted to let you know that coming up tonight for the presidential Republican debates, the InfoWars Nightly News is going to be covering them. And you can just watch right here on InfoWars.com forward slash show and or InfoWars.com forward slash Money Bomb. You can watch the debates live with commentary from in the InfoWars reporters that are going to be on here. I'm guest hosting right now. I'm Anthony Gucciardi with Dr. Edward Group. We're going to be back in just a few minutes here. But also, Alex is going to be joining the program coming up later tonight as well. He's got Larry Nichols, and he's going to talk about some really, really crazy, wild, interesting stuff. So don't miss it, and we'll be right back in a few minutes. Thanks for watching the InfoWars Money Bomb. We've reached a critical juncture in the globalist program. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live for what I believe will be the final money bomb that InfoWars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27 hour money bomb. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products, we use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, 
hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural